So then, hello, um, it's me, JRS Game here. A bit of a strange video here, because, well, I don't really upload much. I don't really upload much in terms of, well, video footage, but I also thought, oh, I went, went, I went down to Tesco today and I bought myself a Lego set. So I was like, I'll be one of those, like, child's channels or whatever. So I'm going to just build this and get some free content out of it, because I have no idea what I'm going to be doing over the while. So, I mean, this is a... I, not to be a strange flex or anything, but I have all the other mechs, so this is just adding to my collection, although I'm pretty sad as a Spider-Man, but, well, you know, whatever, but here in England, I got it for around 14, 18 pounds, Tesco's, they're nice, okay, um, but, yeah, I don't know, I'm just gonna, <laughs> I have no idea what I'm gonna be doing for this video, so I'll just be building this and probably comparing it to my other mechs that I have, so, yeah, I guess... I'll open this up and start building. Of course, I'll show random parts of me building that I think are interesting. But because parts probably will be. So, see you guys in a second. Okay, so what I find interesting to this, of course, we have the classic bag one, bag two, and, of course, the books for each of the mechs. But I opened this bag, and I thought there was nothing in there, but no, that's the web pieces for the mech. Uh, well, yeah, I got a bit confused with that. So, overall, way. I'll start with the, um... Spider-Man mech and I'll compare it to my phone and then I'll do the Doc Ock mech afterwards. So we'll get that out of the way and I'll get to build in. Well, so now I built the, the Spider-Man mech. I've kind of just got the general basis. So if I remove the minifigure here, we we kind of just have, you know, this, this behemoth. Uh, it's, it's very simple. I mean, the feet definitely match that of the, um, the Miles Morales mech here with the slim feet, of course. And it's like the web things coming off like coming out of the arms here it comes out of the back on the Mars one um so yeah that's something it has in common um i mean another thing that's in common is that out of his hands you have these web shoot these webs coming out it's much like the other spider-man mech where they come out here you know quite enjoyable and now if i remove the spider-man from that because um there's actually a so this is the spider-man you get in this set uh, he has arm printing, dual mold legs, pretty good minifigure actually. And for the other Spider-Man one, we have no no dual no like dual molded legs, no arm printing, pretty bad. But um, because I wanted to complete them all, obviously I got the um the Venom mech here, and that also came with another Spider-Man who had leg printing but no arm printing. So it's kind of a bit of an evolution between all the minifigures, really. It goes from one to the other to the other. This one also doesn't have blue in the eyes. And, you know, the lines are a bit more prominent, but I guess now um, I'll move these to the side and I'll get to work on this. Okay, so I, okay, so I finished the um, the Doctor Octopus mech here, and it's quite big. I say it takes up the majority of the um, the brick count in this set. Uh, it's almost like they could have released it on its own and have the Spider-Man one separate, but um, this is the Dr. Octopus minifigure. I'm assuming it's Dr. Octopus, um, even though it's only four arms, but this is the minifigure focus. Why won't it focus? Well, well so anyway, um, he has this face, which is like... Oh my god, why won't it just focus? But yeah. So it has this face here, so it's all happy, and then there's like an angry one. So, yeah, overall, I mean, I can't really compare him to any other Dr. Octopus minifigures because I don't really own any other ones, but one thing I do have to say about the Dr. Octopus mech compared to the Spider Man one, obviously it's size, but the Dr. Octopus one had stickers um, for there, there, and the feet, but that's printed for the Spider Man one, so. That's kind of annoying, but overall, I'm uh, happy with purchase. I mean, I'll leave a like if you want me to do more of these Lego kind of videos, because like, I don't know, I am I had no idea what I want to do for the content in the future. It might just be more games or more whatever, but I just thought I may as well make some quick content over the fact that I bought this. And I may as well do something about it, because yeah. I do have a lot of other sets, like the other mechs that you want to review those too, but that's probably all. Um, so, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you probably in another two months or something. <laughs> I have no idea. So yeah.
was opened. Of course, if you aren't already, although I'm pretty sure the majority of the viewers who are watching are subscribed, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. Very appreciative, and thank you all for watching. See ya.